How does the electricity we make turn into sulfur that stinks to high heaven? Even in biology this is well known, since sulfur creates hydrogen sulfide in the body, which is one of the main gases that leads to the putrid smell of the fart made by the raft of the body ship. An anagram for fart is raft. To acquire the connections to this, we need to go back to the phonetic word Sera that came about when the word ceremony was looked at, which turned into ceremony. The connections are easy to see and quick to find with this one. The Hindi word Shir means lion, tiger, distich. What is a distich? Two items of the same kind. One might even say that these two items are a married human couple. This is an interesting link since the Polish word graum literally means tiger. Another Polish synonym for tiger is the word tigris. The connection to the Tigris and Euphrates rivers that have always been said to be between the Garden of Eden. Go get em, tiger. In Armenian, the term Kervarar translates as a noun into English as Hector, tiger. Hector is the Trojan hero who is killed by Achilles, and Hector is related to the protection of the walls of the moon egg, which is the property that is destroyed by the horse. To this day, property is often measured in hectares because of this allegorical name of Hector. The Yoruba language hints at this property measurement with its word ikun, translated into English as zone, segment, tiger and the adjective of regional. As related to the storyline of this matrix, the Khmer language has the word klia, that means phrase, tiger, sentence. The life sentence that indicates your earned military service stripes, tiger, to the V-shaped chalice of the moon cup, holy grail, which indicates the vaginal canal that gives birth to the soldiers who make more blood plasma and sulfur producing electricity in the mare called the moon. The Russian word sira means sulfur, brimstone, while the Latin word sulfura gives us brimstone, lightning, showing the connection between this gas and the electricity that is produced by it. It is produced in the moon as shown by the Italian sera, meaning evening, night, vesper. The moon that is going to provide you with relief, re-life, as shown by the connection of the Iliad allegory and the Dutch word helen, that means remedy. A remedy from the talon claws of the hawk god Ray, as depicted by the French word talon, that translates as heel, foot. The heel of hell, that is our Achilles heel, because the ETs use any means at their disposal to get us to accept this false matrix existence. Then we are tossed into this hell, which is the zodiac wheel of fortune in this game of life, as shown by the Norwegian word hell, which means success, luck. Though it may be etymologically denied, the word luck is most certainly rooted in the Indo-European term luk which produced the English word light. The closest the etymologists have gotten is by linking luck with the Middle High German Glück, which was the source of the modern German Glück, meaning good fortune, happiness, and German Glück for mother hen, the mother hen of the moon, giving birth to all of the human spirits. Without tying the Norwegian word hell, meaning luck, and the German word hell, meaning light, brightness, luminous, there couldn't be a correlation. This is why hell is where the bright light is found, sun, where we are spun on the zodiac wheel of fortune. It is also the reason why in sexual innuendo, people say that they're going to get lucky. To get lucky in hell, because luck, luke, is light. 
love, and light. Anyone heard that before? We are kept in this game of life by the angel of death, Lucifer, as shown by the ancient esoteric term seraph, Sarah, pH, or pH of Sarah, sulfur, meaning angel of death, messenger of God. This is the angel of light, or the light at the end of the tunnel that you see during death when your biological battery body reaches a sulfuric acid pH level of 1, and as connected to this angel of light death is the Latin word Lucifer, that means light bringing, morning star, Satan, and the German word Hell translates into English as bright, vivid, light, lucid. In Hebrew, the seraphim were known as the fiery serpents because these are the order of angels that literally control our fates and rule over us. They have also been depicted as the servants of light, which comes from the acronym letters of Saul, the name of the dead son. These beings create our SEP, our rational existence, by alchemically controlling the three alchemical principles of mercury, sulfur, and salt. The alchemical symbolism assigns this process to the zodiacal sign Scorpio, because Scorpio is the kiss of death. We receive the kiss of death by appeasing the gods when we create more children, children for the horror of Babylon, as demonstrated by the Latin term scortum, meaning harlot, prostitute, skin, hide. From scortum, the English language got the word scrotum, while the Latin pio from scorpio translates as appease, propitiate, cleanse, expiate. Humanity scores sexually for the scorpion of Scorpio, which is the kiss of death from the scrotum. The scrotum that sends us flying to the moon to be rescued where we receive our next line in the lead role in this game of life. It is the moon that is the conservatory of humanity, as shown by the Turkish Sira meaning conservatory. The moon of heaven where everyone is heaving from the terrible stink of sulfur because this story stinks to high heaven. The Bulgarian language reveals this with its word sera that means shit. That's because humanity has cut the cheese and cheese has a lot of sulfur in it to make us flatulent. The moon has been said to be made of cheese and the Polish language word ser means cheese, because when we look into a camera, what does everyone say? Cheese. Why is this? Because that is part of the mental conditioning that humanity receives into accepting the white light program that is going to capture you again, as shown by the Latin word camera, that means vault, arch. The vault of the archons, archons, who control for us by tricking us with the false light of their beautiful sirens. The myths of the sirens whose song was so alluring and tempting to sailors that they could not resist it and then smashed into the rocks, moon, and were taken down into the abyss. That's what the jinn demons want you to do. Follow the beautiful sirens or religious saviors or family members to the end of the tunnel and then look into the light flash of their camera vault and say cheese. Since the Bulgarian sarin means cheese, Belarusian and Russian sir is cheese, 
Bosnian sir is cheese, and the Chinese surien translates into English as dead. To this day, when an emergency vehicle is headed to an accident, they blare their sirens because this is a warning to the accident victims that if they are approaching death, they may soon be reaching the sirens who are going to lead them into the light, which is back to the vaults of the moon. The moon made out of cheese. Back to the gods who want you to smile for the camera. See you later, alligator. In a while. Crocodile.